Intervertebral disc disease, known as IVDD for short, is a common spinal disease seen in dogs and occasionally in cats. Breeds like Dachshunds and French Bulldogs are particularly susceptible to developing this condition, which can cause pain and paralysis. But with treatment, their quality of life can improve greatly. Intervertebral discs are jelly-like cushions between the bones of the spine. They act like shock absorbers, providing support to the spine and allowing movement. When a dog has intervertebral disc disease, these discs or cushions lose the ability to retain water, so become hard and rigid. Everyday movements put a lot of strain on the diseased discs. Eventually, the discs can burst and the jelly-like center presses against the spinal cord and nerves. This compression causes pain and disrupts the nerve impulses which travel up and down the spine, causing paralysis in some cases. Dogs suffering from IVDD may show the following signs and symptoms. Pain. Your dog may yelp, be reluctant to move, or hold themselves in an unusual posture. Incoordination, referred to as ataxia, they may stumble, wobble or sway as they walk. Paralysis, this is usually seen in the hind or back legs. And sometimes dogs will lose control of their bladder. IVDD is diagnosed using a combination of techniques including a thorough examination by a specialist neurologist and an MRI or CT scan. Patients need to lie completely still for an MRI and CT scan, so this is performed under general anesthesia. Some cases of IVDD can be treated conservatively with pain management, rest and physiotherapy. But for more severe cases, spinal surgery is the recommended course of treatment. Spinal surgery involves removing the jelly-like material which is burst from the diseased intervertebral disc. It is a very delicate procedure, requiring specialist training and equipment. Following surgery, your dog will spend a number of days in the hospital. During this time, they will be closely monitored and well looked after by a dedicated wards nursing team. In most cases, when your pet has voluntary movement and is able to urinate independently, they'll be discharged home. This is often two to five days after surgery. Physiotherapy is a key part of recovery after spinal surgery. A rehabilitation program developed by an ACPAT chartered physiotherapist will help to restore your pet's movement and avoid weak muscles. It's recommended to start physiotherapy straight after surgery and to continue the exercises at home. The rehabilitation program is continuously altered depending on your pet's progress. Recovery can range from weeks to months, depending on the severity of the condition. For some dogs, it will be one to two weeks. For others, it may be several months. Significant improvements are usually seen within two months after surgery, with most dogs able to walk unaided and back to their old selves. Even those who don't regain full movement can still lead a happy and fulfilling life with suitable care. Although a small number of dogs may experience a relapse in future, most dogs will make a full recovery with the appropriate treatment. If you have any questions about your dog, please talk to your vet.